Soil water is the water that's in the soil, whether it's liquid or vapor. It's essential for many things that happen in the soil, like growing plants, weathering, cycling nutrients, and erosion. There are different types of soil water, depending on how it's held or moved around. Here are some of the most common types. Gravitational water after heavy rain or irrigation. Gravity water is what's left in the soil. It's stored in the big pores that don't get washed away by capillary runoff. The gravity water is the water that drains out quickly, leaving a wet area behind it. Most plants don't get this kind of water for a while, since it moves away from the root zone quickly. But some plants can take advantage of it for a few days after the rain. Capillary water is the water that's trapped in the tiny pores or gaps between soil particles. It's created by capillary forces and can move around the soil in any direction. It's the main way plants get water since it's easily available from the roots. Also, it helps keep the soil strong and stable. Hygroscopic water soil particles are bound to each other by molecular forces and the water around them is called hygroscopic water. Dotted forms thin layers around the particles and can't be removed by regular drying methods. Unfortunately, it's not available for plants because it takes too much power to extract it. It affects some of the soil's chemicals and physical properties, like the ability to exchange cations and the size of the surface area. Soil water available to plants is dependent on Soil texture is the amount of sand, mud, and clay in the soil. It affects how much water it can hold and how easy it is for water to get through. Soil with a finer texture usually has more pores and a higher capacity to hold water than dirt with a coarser texture. But it also has smaller pores and less permeability, so it drains faster and isn't as good for plants. Soil structure is basically how the particles in the soil are grouped. This shapes the pores in the soil, which affects how much water is stored and moved around. Soil that's well organized has bigger pores that let water in and out easily, while soil that's not well organized has smaller pores that limit how much water can get in and out, which can cause waterlogging. Organic matter is basically what's left of plants and animals in the soil. It helps build up the structure of the soil by bringing together particles and making them into solid pieces. It also helps plants store water by absorbing it like a sponge and slowly releasing it. Soil compaction is when the pores in the soil get squeezed out by outside forces or traffic. This makes it harder for water to stay in the soil and more likely for it to seep out. It also makes it more likely for water to run off and cause erosion, and it's not as good for plants to grow in. The weather in a certain area has a big impact on the amount of water in the soil. It affects how much water is taken in through rain or irrigation and how much is taken out through evaporation or air. Plus, the temperature of the soil can affect how much water is available. Hush-hush water has unique qualities due to its chemical structure and bonding, which hold them together for all purposes, and plants take advantage of these, with H bonding white frowning face, where H and other molecules bond 8 to 42 kgm, and van der Waals force 0.44 kgm. Mm -hmm.